Hey guys, Enzo here. I'm back playing Final Fantasy XII, and uh, right now <laughs> I'm somewhere in the South Bank Village because I did uh, go back to the Bayoma and the Broken Sands to complete uh, some monsters in my bestiary. As you can see here, the Wild Saurian is now complete. I was able to kill like five of those. Also, the same for this um, Dive Talon here. Also completed that. A little bit challenging to do since they're flying monsters, so you need to have magic attacks and long range weapons to be able to kill it. And also completed in the Broken Sands this monster, the Slaven Wilder. So looks odd this one and uh, you can find it uh, you can find a lot of them in the broken sands also as you can see here there's also uh, a lit I would say somewhat rare monster that appears in the Yoma the Chocobo I was able to complete um, in the best area the Chocobo here as you can see you need to find like six or five of those as well but yeah. Oh, yeah. Some other rare hunts that I was able to uh, to do when I wasn't recording. So just wanted to show you guys here. In the Western Sand, you can find in the map there, the Shimmering Horizons, a chance to fight this rare game, Worgen. And uh, in the Nam Yensa Sansi, somewhere there, this Mega Bomb. And also in the um, in the rains in the Giza in Tome Hills, so yeah, that's where you can find this monster. And um, lastly, this Coltsworn Lich back in um, the Tomb of Wraithwall in Southfall Passage. So I had or I was able to hunt those rare game. So it's only a chance that you see those enemies in those uh, maps or areas that I have uh, mentioned. Alright, so today in this video, we'll be going to... I need to teleport myself to freaking Rabanaster again in uh, the Giza, in the rains. So I already cleared the map there. Um, from doing all of my hunts while not recording and let me show you guys yeah so you can see the map is complete and uh, for the most part I think the rare game and monsters there have all been completed in the best year as well so let me fast forward myself going all the way here to Ozumon Plain because uh, that's where we'll need to go for our main quest so I'll see you guys in a bit alright so we're here now in uh, at the end of the, the Giza in the rains guys in Starfall Field and uh, have your party the girls they're all level 28 as you can see Osmond thing. Alrighty, so we're here. And if you look at the map, it's still untouched. And uh, yeah, let's find our way to the, the Jahara village. Or just Jahara. Oh, flying enemies. So. So since we have my enemies here, let's have Ash use a win. I don't think I have a long range gambit for Ash yet. But yeah, still don't have anything long range for Ash. 
that she's just gonna have to be useless for this enemy. Yeah. It seems Fran is pretty capable to take it down on her on her own. Look, it's those werewolf enemies. This enemy was the ones that were um, guarding the this passage to Osmond in Giza during the dry season. So now we're pretty much capable to take them down. So no worries. So I'm really not gonna focus too much on uh, clearing the map. Just figuring out the way to Jahara. From my previous playthrough, I know that it's somewhere in the southwest corner of the map, so I'm just heading that way. So it's like a cakewalk for these girls. Over here. Apparently, there's a passage down there which I think leads to the Zertinan Caverns. I think so. We're not gonna go there yet. Heading the right way. Not even sure. <laughs> yeah, that's the passageway down there too. Thirteen and caverns, which is home to a bunch of uh, difficult enemies. <laughs> In a future video, we'll cover that place. So this may be the path to Jahar already over here, I think. Past these uh, mesmeniers, these horse enemies. bunch of these iron carapace. All of these loot that we are uh, we're getting is very important for selling them for gill and also complete items that we can buy in the, the bazaar. Where's the, the way? Oh, over there. Yeah, I think this is it. Jahara is over there, I think. So, yeah. Oh no, I guess not. <laughs> so I may be lost. I'm not even... As you can see, I'm just using attack gambits. Because I got this pretty strong weapon for Fran. So Fran is a Ulan Black Mage. Ulan is the one that has the license for the, the spear. Pretty nice uh, long range weapon. And I got, uh, I think, what's this weapon she has? Obelisk. I got that weapon from the Broken Sands in a chest there. So go get that weapon for your Ulan in your party, guys. It's very strong. OP at this stage especially if you use or if you get the license to increase attack power for uh, for friend or for your Ulan character Black Chicago I may be close by as far as I can remember there's a bunch of um yeah look it's a gareth uh, ally 
But I think you can also attack those guys. They're also part of the um, the bestiary, which I will do in the future because uh, I'm not sure if those guys are pretty tough at this point. Alrighty, so let's check. I really make sure that uh, the experience points for the, the individual parties and the members are equal. Something to do with my OCD. So let me save my game first, guys. Speak to the the Gareth here, Gareth warrior. Who are you? The Gareth, or uh, this is the land of the Gareth. No place for human children to play at games. They are wayfarers. They bring no harm. I saw them cross the Osmo plain. They are warriors of great distinction. The fiends of the plains trouble them not at all. You ventured upon the plains alone. War chief, again? What business do you have with Agarin? Let them pass. The responsibility will be mine. If it's your wish, War chief, then you may pass. These days see many humans wandering through our lands. Not made introductions. I am Sapinelu, war chief of this village. We Gareth have been friends to all since long ago. However, lately the Yum world is in much turmoil. We must protect our village and our people. As war chief and protector of our village, I ask you, why have you come to this land? Hmm, I see. So you have to come. You have come to ask about the Nethesite. You must speak with the elders. Though our masks may make it difficult for you to tell us apart, walk through the village and look with your eyes, listen with your ears. So these people are pretty pretty chill. They welcome the, the group thanks to that uh war chief. We just spoke to him. So I guess what I need to do here is uh, there's a little bit of a small side quest thing yeah, from this guy. Speak to this guy. Sayalu. Oh, what is this? More Yums come to visit us? A little bigger this time, but no matter. You need not to tell me anything. I know you have come to our village to learn of the stones, the net, the net side. We Gareth have knowledge of this passed down from father to son. Mother to daughter, some of it remains, some has been lost in history science. I know nothing of the stones. We must speak to the great chief. He alone holds the deep knowledge of these things. He alone remembers all of the battalions. Cross the bridge to the north, and there you will find him. There are watchers at the bridge, so I think it is best to speak with War Chief Sapinello. May I ask a favor of you? Give this to our chief Sapinello for me. We 
got a Jaya stick. So there's no rush when you next happen to meet him, you may give it to him then. And you find all the answers that you seek. Alrighty, so speak to that guy here and then we'll move the, the story along. Is this the war chief? Yeah. Speak to him. That which you carry, is it a Jaya stick? The High Chief has given this to me. I shall receive it. Thank you for bringing it to me. Now, did you learn what you wished? No, do not tell me. It is written clear upon your face, so even the High Chief could not help. Then you must meet with the Great Chief. Would you meet the Great Chief? Yeah, that's it. So it is true. The Great Chief may know something that would aid you. Yet, arranging an audience may be quite difficult. I must learn more about the Nethys. I, I cannot turn back now. Please tell your great chief that I am the, of the royal line of Telmasca, a direct descendant of the dynast King Wraithwall. If the Gareth have passed down knowledge of the stones, they must know of the Nethysite that the dynast kings king once held. Do you have proof of your heritage? I I do not. I have looked into your eyes and seen that you speak the truth, you child. I give you my trust. The great chief is ahead, across this bridge. So yeah, Ash really is determined to to find a way. So here we go. The great chief is ahead. Will you meet him? Cutscenes. This Nethysite, you have used it. It was not I who used it. Indeed, I had hoped you could show me how. Thus I've come. Hmm. You do not know the workings of the stone. Then we are no different. What? In ages past, the gods made a gift of Nethysite to my people. But the manner of its use eluded us. Displeased by our failure, the gods took back their stones. They chose instead to give them to a Yum king. Called the Dynast King, he used the Nethysite's power to bring peace to a troubled time. It is a curious thing. Though the blood of King Wraithwall flow through your veins, you cannot wield Nethysite. Cannot wield it? So then, am I to understand you can't tell me how to use the stone? Though it shame me so to admit, here before me stands a descendant of the Dynast King himself, and I can accord her no help at all. Still, even if you knew how to use the Nethysite, you would find it of small avail. The mist collected in the stone over ages past is lost, and with it, the stone's power. It will be your posterity who will the stone in ages yet to come. <sighs> this stone is devoid of power, empty, yet full of thirst, a terrible longing to drink the world dry. The power of men and of magic, of good and of evil. It is often those who desire Nethysite whom the Nethysite itself desires. <sighs> okay. Larsa? This dude. Did 
to Baromises. I say we ought leave tomorrow. I was going to wait for my escort to return, but meeting you here has presented a great opportunity. This terrible war can be stopped, but I will need your help to do so. A war? You know the Marquis Ondor leads a group of insurgents. Your pardon? He leads a large resistance force against the Empire. Lady Ash, neither of our countries can afford this now. The Rosarian Empire would stir. They would aid the resistance and use this aid as a pretext to declare war on Arcadia. And Arcadia would have no choice but to answer. Lady Ash, let us go to Bur Omases. With the blessing of his grace, the Grand Kiltius Anastasis, you may rightly wear your crown and declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Dalmasca. As Queen, you can call for peace between the Empire and Dalmasca and stop Marquis Ondor. For peace? How dare you say that? The Empire attacked us, stole all we hold dear, and you would have me save them from war? Dalmasca would be the battlefield. What if Nethocide were used on Rabinaster? You know my brother would do this. <sighs> Forgive me. I presumed over much. I could think of no other way to avoid bloodshed. If you cannot trust me, then please take me as your hostage. Rustler. You saw him. Didn't you? Like at the king's tomb. So you did see him too. But why? It's strange. Before, I didn't even know what you looked like. And the prince? I barely knew there was a prince. Who knows? Maybe the person I saw was my brother. Bosch told me about him. He enlisted right at the end. But for what? He knew he couldn't win. To protect something. How can he protect anything when he's dead? Was it different for Prince Rassler? Did that make sense? Hating the Empire, getting revenge, it's all I ever thought about. But I never did anything about it. I mean, I realized there was nothing I could do. It made me feel hollow, alone. And then, I'd miss my brother. I'd say stuff like, I'm gonna be a sky pirate, or some other stupid thing. Just anything to keep my mind off it. I was just, I was running away. I needed to get away from his death. That's why I followed you. You know what? I'm through with it. I'm through running. I'm ready to find my purpose. To find some real answers, some reasons. If I stick with you, I think I will. I wish I knew. I'll find him. But yeah, I find the uncanny resemblance between Rex, Vine's brother, and also uh, the the prince, the the husband of Ash, who's. Dead. Both I will dead. accompany you to Mount Baromises. I had hoped you'd say yes. I am glad. My heart is not set. I still have questions. I hope to find answers along the way. I had other reason to invite you. There is someone I'd like you to meet waiting on Baromises. Who is that? An enemy. And an ally also. You will just have to wait and see for yourself. That Larsa likes his secrets. He does not mean ill by it. 
He's not bad. At least for an Imperial. Oh. Holy Mount Buro Misace stands at the northern end of the Yagd Ramuda. Once we're in Yagd, we need not fear pursuit by their airships. Don't get your hopes up. You remember the Leviathan sailed straight over the Yacht Yensa, right up to Raithel's tomb. Skystone that works even in Yacht. You know, Nethersite's behind it. Little wonder they're so keen on the stuff. And what is it you're after, Balthier? You're a welcome hand and a great aid, but why? Worried I'm out to steal the Nethersite, eh? Can't say I'm unaccustomed to people doubting my intentions. Nothing could be further from my mind. Shall I swear by your sword or some such? Apologies. But I needed to know where you stand. Her Majesty depends on you. And you seem to have an interest in the stone. I'm only here to see how the story unfolds. Any self-respecting leading man would do the same. All right, so Larissa joins as a guest, and uh, I always think that there's no interaction between Fran and Bosch. So you will leave. Take this as a token of our parking. So we receive a recurve crossbow and a quiver of onion bolts. If you wish to ride at Chocobo, you may. I have spoken with the, the Moogle. She will not charge you for your first use of the Chocobos. Take care on the road ahead. Should it lead back to our land, you are welcome to us. Spirit of the land, watch over. Cool guy. So, yeah, that was a series of um, cutscenes there and uh, moving the story along. Yeah, I almost forgot. Speak to this. Oh no, not that guy. Oh wait. Yeah, not this one, but this cartographer's guild. What do you would you like to buy a map? Yeah, get these maps. It's a big help. Map of Osmon Plain and also the, the other one which is a map of uh, Jahara, this village. So, what I'll do next, guys, is I'll actually clear the map here and also outside in Osmo Plain. Because there's a lot of area to cover, but it'll give me time as well to level my party a bit, get some loot, and also to prepare for the next time, which I'll do when I come back. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I'm back, guys, and as you can see here, the, the map of Osmo Plain is uh pretty much cleared just some areas that are still uh, later on when the story progresses we'll be able to complete it but now i can have some time to to do a hunt with uh, larsa in in the party actually two hunts because um later on we'll do another after this one here we need to speak to the the petitioner first back in Jahara, someone named uh, Low Chief or something. Low Low Chief Segumu, that's their name. Wait, let me go in there. Over here, in the next area, here in the Elder Knoll. Chief Sigrun. You, you have seen the bill posted for the Encalados. Hmm. I wondered what sort of person would come, but never did I expect. No, no matter. It is nothing. You are truly here to hunt my mark. Truly, good, good. Even if you are a child. Pay me no mind. All elderly are as I am. Slow to trust. Let me explain the situation. You know the Osmond plane. 
you must have passed through there at least once. A very valuable herb grows there. Yet the Encalados, it tramples my precious herbs to dust. Oh, as, that can, as you can see, I'm quite agitated. Normally the warriors of this village would vanquish it for me, but this time, well, suffice it to say I need you to do this. The Encalados can be found in the eastern edge of the Osmo Plain. It is often seen in the Shred, um, I am told. Warrior Semu knows much of this creature. When you leave this knoll, you will find him standing guard at the bridge. Talk to him there. Now go, I, I trust you will do this for me and return safely. So the hunt begins. I guess we will have assistance by uh, one of the Gareth here, like you mentioned. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll find out. So back in the entrance we go. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, don't forget to talk to this guy, the Gareth trader, and uh, restock on some. Curatives, like I will do now. Check if you have enough potions. Yeah, I have around 71, but it never hurts to add a few more. Like 84 here. Buy all the magics that you don't have yet. Uh, techniques, curatives, uh, accessories. Also, really important, buy armors that they sell here. It's a, a big upgrade and uh, some weapons too. The reward that we got from the, the uh, talking to that high chief that gave us the giant stick, uh, the recurve bow or the crossbow rather, is a really great weapon for your time battle mage and in my case Penelo. So she's equipped it. Her attack has significantly increased. Let me show you. Her attack power is at 58 now, so pretty neat. So let's get out of here and do that hunt. Oh, I always get lost. <laughs> Please bear with me. So since we have uh, that free Chocobo, now's the time to use it. That's why I was avoiding talking to this guy earlier. I heard from the war chief you ride for free. Uh, the offer is good only once though. Well, careful, right? Yeah, let's do it. So that we can arrive uh, quick. So, have here a free chocobo ride. We need to go here. Yeah, that's right. So, let me... so, enemies don't hit you, I think, when you have a chocobo. Which is neat. Bump all these other Chocobos. Get out of the way! Wait. As usual, I'm passing by the wrong way. The Chocobo theme is always a trademark of Final Fantasy. I guess the Chocobo will always be freaking the mascot of the entire franchise. I guess I'm, I can't pick up any loot with a Chocobo. So I'm not sure what I need to do to trigger the hunt. I think I need to clear the map of these enemies first, so I need to get out of them. This map, yes. So, get rid of all these woo enemies. Oh, don't forget to get these chests. over there and the other side is not accessible for now but later on we'll be able to go there okay, 
So get out of this um, this area, the shred. And then I think we just need to uh, re-enter for the hunt. And there we have it. It's a huge freaking monster again. So these hunts are always huge monsters. Let me steal from it first. Steal a... Um, yeah. Have um, Ash here be the decoy. And uh, have everyone steal. The rest just steal. Here we go. Put it steal. Has nothing to steal. I guess I was already able to take whatever I needed. I wonder what I got. I was, yeah, I was hoping to get this one, which I did. Slave and harness. So this is the best thing to steal and uh, re-equip my gambits. So I'm not sure if this enemy is uh, weak against a particular element. But I'll just deal attacks to it. See how it goes. Oh, there. It has a uh, freaking protect magic on it. So I'll have uh, Ash here dispel. Dispel it first. Yeah, that's better. You should be more prone to damage. Dude, it healed itself. What a freaking cheater. It's gonna go it's gonna go down pretty soon. And it's dead. That was very easy. Very Ermondy, what was that? Oh. Okay. Wonder what we got. It was like a key item. Let's check it out. Yeah, Ermonia leaf. A medicinal herb found on Oz Mountain. It has long been used in treatment of fevers. Alrighty. I guess that was like the the plant that the low chief was talking about that that creature was destroying or eating or something. Time to remove Ash's gambit of uh, being a decoy. Take the treasures. I saw one of those there. And that's it. Let me just go back to the village, guys, and then uh, complete this quest. See you in a bit. Alright, I'm back here in Jahara, guys. Speaking with Low Chief Sukumu. Oh ho! You have defeated the Encalados. These are good tidings indeed. I learn again that it is wrong to judge by appearances. Now I shall reveal a truth to you. In fact, the warriors offered to hunt my mark, yet none of us had ever seen a true mark hunter. So curious I was to see what um, what such a man might be like. I asked permission of the elders and posted a bill. Little did I expect a, a young child to tell the to tell the truth. I was a little disappointed, but this is past now. And now is now. My eyes are have been opened. I see you are truly a great warrior. Another surprise for me. Here, please take this as a thanks. You have done well, my friend. Awesome. 1,000 order the gill, an ether, and uh, gold, golden amulet. So that's the that hunt. The what's the uh, the name of that hunt? Wait, let me check the bestiary first. Oh no, not that one. Encalados, a rank two mark, and then uh, oh. We have a bunch of uh, monsters that have, have cleared in uh, Oz Mountain. Just need six more of this hybrid gator, which I'll do 
in a while or later. And oh, let's check the hands. So that was uh, what hunt was that? Um, this one we completed the defense of Osmo Plain. Next, we need to go back to the Giza in the rains. We can now do this one, which I actually initiated the path going to this this um, hunt in my previous video. So you can watch that one, guys, on how to clear the path going to this hunt, which is Paradise Risen. So the monster is the Gill Snapper. So I'll go there now and uh, I'll switch up the party. I'll use the guys. Bosh, Balthier, and Van. And I'll see you guys there. Alright. Alright, uh, I'm back guys. And I um, actually ch uh, changed my mind. I wanna use the, the girls again for this hunt because I need a black mage for this hunt so that I can deal some magics to it, like status magic. I know that it's susceptible to certain status magic like freaking um, blind and silence so it's a big a big help for this hunt. So all we gotta do is uh, head over to this area as you can see the, the wood that I was like um, chopping down have made this path entangled wood. So, let me double check my gambits. I need a tank for the party, so I'm gonna set up uh, Ash to be a decoy, and uh, but later. Ash to be a decoy, and then cast some black magic on um, Fran. So, I think we'll get an assistance here from that. Um, yeah, this guy, Pansad, told you I'd be here to help you, didn't I? Uh, this skill snapper will be easy, uh, easy prey with Pansad at your side. Pans into yours, finest. Only one problem, I haven't seen our mark anywhere. I remember hearing something about it, like in a certain kind of weather or some such. Yeah, uh, I know what he's talking about. So it only comes out when it's like really raining hard like a bad storm so in the meantime i'll clear the enemies here oh yeah i need this uh, enemy silicon for toys no i need to complete my best here for the emerald titan i don't know if it's here but there's a bunch of turtle like enemies <laughs> deals with pretty heavy damage but yeah, definitely need to hear the other monsters here. I can tell it's going to be a challenging hunt this one. Just getting all the loot that I can. Golden armor. I think I have that already. Monsters, as you can see. Oh, what's this? Burn. Feather of the flock. Oh, yeah, I'm sure since that was like um, a key item, that's gonna trigger another side quest or something. Let me see. Um, maybe fire magic is effective against these guys. Yeah, it is. 2,000 damage from friend. Keep doing your thing, friend. 
I guess I'll be using fire or fear on these enemies. And for the hunter, there is a trap. Don't come near it! Dumb, dumb, dumb Larsa. My high potion, 74. Yeah, yeah I think we can kite these, uh, this hunt. Because these turtle monsters are pretty slow moving. So I'll try to kite as well as cast magic. So we've cleared all the other monsters. Let me get out of this screen and uh, try to make it rain hard. It's raining outside, but inside it's not. Yes, yeah, still, it's not gonna do it. I think it needs to be like a really strong rain. So, what I'll do, guys, is I'll freaking come back out and in again to make it rain. Like a, like a storm. Oh yeah, it's gonna take a while. Because like the, cl the sky now has cleared. So I'll come back when it's, the rain is pretty bad and uh, go to that area where the hunt is. The tracks of the beast. I'll get back with you guys. Alright, so this is the signal guys that the gill snapper is here. It's raining pretty hard and Plansat will say, There it is! Now stand back and let Plansatir's finest show you how it's done. Time to finish this. Alright, so the gambits that I have set up for um, this hunt, um, you will need Silas and Blind for your Black Mage, like I have here. Fran will be casting that. And um, Fear Magic from afar while Ash will be the, the tank the decoy, but also um, casting uh, shell and uh, dispel when this enemy, the gill snapper, will be using uh, shell and protect. Also, um, Penelope will be casting disable or immobilize, I'm not sure, but I will try uh, to see if uh, disable will work first. Uh, Larsa will just be an additional attack. Alright, that's your decoy, and let's do this. Yeah, that's, uh, silence is working, now blind. Blind work, so, yeah, fight this dude. I think he's, uh, maybe immune to, um, disable, because, uh, He's not stopping, so let's try to immobilize. Yeah, there we go. What other magics does he have? How come our attacks are too... ...too low? Let me try attacking this dude instead of magic, so it's not dealing a lot of damage. Yeah, I think it's not dealing for damage. 
hopefully the, the status magic that I cast will stick. Okay, he's moving again. Alright, good. Nice. So mobilize. Damages go um, start to get low or freaking. Wait, let me switch up the gambit. Once the attacks start to be slow, that's when I'll start doing the fire magic. I don't know if it's dealing better damage, but it's better than nothing, I guess. It's moving again. This dude freaking won't die. be as immobilized on so that he won't freaking keep moving. Last legs, or last leg rather. <laughs> it freaking won't die yet. I don't know why the attacks are really low. Larsa, I think he freaking died back there. Finally down. The gill snapper was drawn into the urn. Right. Vanquished. That was a long fight. Longest uh, hunt so far that I've had. And that's how it's done. Well, the hunt's over, so I'll be seeing you back in the clan hall. Take care of yourself now. Thanks. Guy was a good help because, like, he was casting protect and shell on the party. Okay, um, I think Ash can stop casting decoy on herself now. You know, the other magics that we were casting. But yeah, those are the necessary status magics that you need to be doing to that uh, Yale Snapper. And uh, I'll take a break, guys, and uh, to be the hunt, you can only complete it when. Uh, it's dry already, or dry again here in the, the Giza. 
and uh, even when we go back to the Crystal Blade where we got the hunt from now, she's gonna leave a note or something along that, that and uh, yeah. So uh, I guess what next we're gonna do is go back to Osmond Plain and continue the, the story further. So I'll see you guys uh, there. Alright guys, so uh, I'm back here now in Osmond Plain in this area of the map called Field of the Light Winds. So this is where we need to go to this next area called the Sunlit Path and it will uh, progress the, the main story forward. So I'm, a, I'm about to do just that, but uh, before here I needed to even do like a side trip back to Jahara to buy me some potions, like high potions again from that last hunt. That freaking gill snapper was something to deal with. <laughs> I guess this one was a success. Wow, I'm impressed, Bon. I got a good feeling. An Either alliance way. between Dalmasca and the Empire. Reason tells me tis the only course. We must avoid a wasting war with the Empire at all cost. Yet I fear I could not bear the shame, had I but the strength. A shame, perhaps, for me and for you. But for Dalmasca, it is hope. And you can just accept this, can you? After Vane's ruse, I had abandoned hope for honor. Yet, never did I forget my nightly vows. If I could protect but one person from war's horror, then I would bear any shame. I would bear it proudly. I could not defend my home. What is shame to me? My people hate the Empire. They will not accept this. There is hope. All right. Don't encourage Hope for a future where we can join hands bad, as brothers. <laughs> Larsa, please. This is serious. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't be Larsa. Somebody's got to put him in his place. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> so it's this that's it. The Senate may play at intrigue, but Lord Vane is not one to be brought down easily. The entire military waits upon his orders, from the War Council down to the rank and file. What better blade than he to strike down the enemies of the Empire? Your Honor reminds me of Zet two years since. He, too, put his trust in Lord Vane's strength, and what became of him? Gone without a trace since Nabodis. I will not hear you malign Judge Sect. He was a noble warrior. Or do you think his trust in Lord Vane ill-placed? Vane took two of his own brother's lives. He is ruthless beyond contempt. Ruthless, you say? Would he were more so? He gives traitors no quarter, be they of his own blood. How fitting for one who would bear the burden of empire. But could we bear him? Zagabath, what of you? Surely you do not believe his brothers were traitors? So found his excellency, Lord Gramis. You would do well to mind your tongue, Drace. That matter is long past. Your honors, a summons. Lord Vane has arrived at the palace. We come at once. Lord Larsa has left for Boromises. He hopes to enlist the aid of the Grand Kiltius in stopping the insurgents. I doubt this will be enough to deter Ondor, but even a slight hindrance to his operations would be welcome. This will delay the Rosarian invasion, and we will have bought much needed time to shore up our defenses. Just as His Excellency had hoped. No matter the result, I'm pleased with the young Lord's progress. I can already see the stunned faces of those mud-witted senators. The fools think a child Emperor's strings easy to pull from the shadows. 
but they will find that Lord Larsa is no puppet. Yes, the senators would be most pleased with a puppet for an emperor. Recall, Drace, how the Senate fears and despises Lord Vane's ability. When they realize the truth, that Lord Larsa is no docile lamb to be shepherded, they will bare their teeth and devour him. You're right. I shall speak on this matter with His Excellency at once. Gabranth, it falls to us to protect Lord Larsa. Are we agreed? Aye. Scenes there, and we're back with the, the party. So, uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll leave it at this or at this point for now. So, we're here in uh, the Sunday path. Onward is, um, I believe, the Golmoor or Golmoor jungle or something, which I'll cover in my next video, and a bunch of other stuff, I'm sure. So thanks again for watching, take care guys, peace out, bye bye.